In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump on this Ford F-150. This vehicle has the 3.5 liter V6 engine and this is going to be located on the front of the engine. Let's get into it. Underneath the truck on the left side, right behind the bumper is where you're going to find the drain. You can see the little red cap there. I'm just going to take a hose and just put it on the end just to be able to direct the coolant. Then you want to put that in a drain bucket. Then I'm going to use a straight blade screwdriver. There is a slice in the cap. I'm just going to loosen up the cap. You want to make sure the engine's cold when you do this. You can take the coolant cap off as well. Open that up. And the coolant's going to drain into your bucket. Now the coolant's drained out, we're going to close the cap. We're going to remove these two push pins. I'm going to use a trim tool. Just get underneath there. Pop that up. Pop that out. We're going to remove this bolt. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Take that out. Now on the back side of the snorkel, we're gonna remove this hose. Should be a little tab, you just push in, and then you should be able to slide this off. Actually, the tab would be right there. This vehicle, the tab is missing. Just push that in, and that separates. The other side, there's a hose right here. On the bottom, there's a little release. I'm gonna push on that release, slide it off. You can see it's a little tab right there. Just wanna push that to the side. Take that off, loosen up the worm clamp, use a seven millimeter socket, loosen that up. And there's a hose right here, just pop that out of the way. You can grab the snorkel, slide it back. Grab the air box, pull it straight up, and pull that all the way up. And before we take the belt off, we're gonna loosen up these bolts for the pulley. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. And if you have to, you can turn the pulley. There we go, just loosen them, crack them free. Using a 15 millimeter socket, loosen up the tension on the tensioner. that down. You can slide the belt off the alternator, off the crank, off the tensioner, and off the water pump pulley. Pull that off. I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket. Take this bolt out here. And over on the side, still underneath. And then underneath here. Pull that out. You might want a drain bucket underneath. You might lose some coolant. And just grab the housing. Rock it back and forth a little bit. Just be careful, you don't want to break the pipe. There we go. We'll just pull that out of the way. Now we're gonna take the pulley off, use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. With the 
bolts out, I'm just going to gently pry this with a pry bar. It's rusted on there a little bit. Just go around. There we go. Pull that off. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're going to take the bolts out around the water pump. And just grab the pump. If you need to, you can use a pry bar. And again, you're going to lose some coolant. So just put a drain bucket underneath. I'm just going to pry this out. Just rock it back and forth. There we go. That's it. It comes right out. I'm going to take the O-ring. Just slide this in place. Just like that. Make sure it goes all the way around. I'm just going to take some silicone and just lubricate the O-ring. You can use O-ring lubrication as well. That's good. Take the gasket. There is a little pin. It's going to line up with that hole. Push that in place. And another one over here that lines up. That's good. Now I'll just take a rag and some brake parts cleaner. And you want, just want to clean the surface area where the gasket goes. If there's a good amount of debris, you want to scrape it with a scraper or even a razor blade. Just get it cleaned up nice. And take the pump with the gasket on. Get that lined up. Push that on, get the bolts started. Now we're going to torque these to 89 inch pounds. I'm just going to go back and forth, torquing it, alternating it, and torquing it down evenly. And you want to go back around and go an additional 45 degrees. You can use a torque angle meter. If you don't have one, do the best you can.
right, that's good. Now we'll put the pulley on, get this lined up. Get the bolt started. Snug those down. Before we torque these bolts down, we're gonna put the belt back on. It's gonna be easier to torque them with the belt on. Go around the crank pulley, and then the tensioner pulley. Then over near the alternator. Hold that close to the water pump. Grab the ratchet with the 15 millimeter socket on it. Loosen the tension on the tensioner. And just get it around the pulleys on the water pump and the tensioner. There we go. Just make sure it looks like it's all around. That looks good. Now we're gonna torque these to 62 inch pounds. There you go. Now using a pick on the thermostat housing, we're just gonna take this seal out. Get underneath there, pull that out. we just clean out that area. Take the new gasket, press that in. And right here, we want to replace this O-ring. Just use a pick. Just get underneath the O-ring. Slide that off. Take the new O-ring. Line it up. And slide it in place. Take a little silicone. Just put it on the O-ring or O-ring lubricant. That's good. Now take the housing and slide it over. Put that in place. Now take the bolts, get the bolts started. And now we'll snug these down. I'm going to torque these bolts to 89 inch pounds. Now I take the air box, get that lined up, and just push it into the grommets and over the throttle body. Push that hose in place. Take the push pins, get those started. Lock those down. Take the bolts, get that started. Tighten that down. Now we'll tighten the worm clamp down. Good, make sure that's tight, that's good. Take the hose, get that lined up, lock that in place, and the other hose in the back. 
lock that in place. Now take off the cap for the reservoir. And we're going to use a funnel and use the correct 50-50 mix of coolant and water and the correct type of coolant. You can check your owner's manual and you want to fill it up. You can see the coolants up to the max line. That's where we want it. You can maybe add a little bit more just so it's at the top of the line. Right there, that's good. Put the cap back on. And we're gonna run the vehicle for about 10 to 15 minutes, monitoring the coolant temperature, making sure the engine's not overheating and see if you get a little heat out of the dash. Then once it's up to that temperature, we'll shut the vehicle down, let it sit. Once it's cooled down, double check your level and top it off if you need to. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.